Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today, let's talk about the laziest town in the country. Which so happens to be the worst drug induced one in Europe. Perth. Now, <laughs> I'm a bit surprised how it's a Scottish city that's the most laziest one. But you can't, just, just, just wait till how they define it as laziest. And the excuse is just, oh man. I mean, I didn't even know Scottish towns could be racist, and the town of Perth is racist because posters are being going put around the city. Or oh, this is from ya Yahoo News. Great resources, you know, because they're so reliable. <laughs> right, let's go take a look at this. Um, So, racist posters which appeared in city centre condemned. Now, what could these racist signs be saying? Oh, they must be saying black people are evil or something. Oh, no, it just says it's okay to be white. <laughs> yeah, you definitely know the leftist economy is still in Scotland, especially after the vote. A series of racist posters which read it's okay to be white because you remember, guys, being white is racist and offensive <laughs> because we can't have white people in the United Kingdom it's not like the population is going down or anything against white people um, it's okay to be white it has been condemned after appealing in the city centre wow what, 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 what? <laughs> and the camp the campaign group Perth against racism posted photos of posters which were put up across the Scottish city over the weekend oh what a travesty that was um, Sogum imagined in the US where it was adopted by the neo-Nazi group and where white supremacists <laughs> has backlash against war culture. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, th th these guys are taking it seriously now. It's like they ca you can't be white in your own city. I bet the people who are moaning are the white people who are living in this country and they're Scottish too. Perth Against Racism said they have... They have spoken to non-white residents who said the posters have made the city feel unsafe for all people who were not white. Because we know Scotland has a massive immigration policy. Um, it wants to induce more population to the area when we have a housing crisis which we cannot know or afford to keep people here. That's the basics of it and that's why it's true. Too much people, too much housing, nothing about your grace or culture, but there is just too many people coming in and not checked for. Perth today everywhere. Feel very unsettled walking down the work seeing these. Please help take them down. Oh, they're so fucking offensive. I mean, I mean, it's not like uh, we had things where it was, what was it, anti-Semitic things against the Labour Party? You know, it's okay to be white. Remember, when you're white, everything is worse. You are the worst person in the world. Hitler is nothing compared to you. You know, that is just amazing to hear that. Oh my god, these people are fucking stupid. Seriously, I'm, I mean, really? Uh, let's get these down, folks. The group posted on Facebook, show that we were welcoming a diverse city. Yeah, because that's exactly what Perth shows. Despite being the most, um, what was it, drug-induced city, the worst drug in crisis in the, sorry, not the UK, Europe, the worst one, and I'm like, wow, it's it's crazy, it actually does come as a result for that, so it's crazy. Um, show the work in device, diversity, I've seen quite a lot ripped off already. Well, shows the world culture is just getting there. Oh, fucking great, we've got John Sweeney to get into this. Um... The mixed race suit. Oh, no, no, we, we're not care about those things. That I was gonna say that, but it's not. We don't care about them. Um, appearance of posters soon caught by the attention of Deputy First Minister of John Sweeney called them unacceptable. Yeah, because John Sweeney knows exactly how to look after people when he can't even look after his education services. It is atrocious and has no place in Perth. 
to know why that says it, okay. Uh, or any part of our country, we must stand together against racist, unacceptable material, and that's just him saying the thing. Is there any more to this? Oh, there's a good damn thing. Oh, this is all there is. Okay, that's fine. Um, this is atrocious. There's no place for here. According to the BBC, stickers bearing the same slogan appeared in Dundee in September. Did they now? I wonder if the people there are having problems with multicultural issues than actually, you know, Scottish people. Because it's probably a problem having two different races in the same area. Please, Scot uh, a police Scotland's uh, spokeswoman said, although the complaint has been made to the police, regarding these posters, they have been brought to attention and officers are currently looking into the matter. So basically they're going to do absolutely fuck all, that's all they're going to do, isn't it? They're, just, they're not going to do anything. But, I have to say, this is a bit concerning for people here. Because, well if you think about it, if it's not okay to be white, that's racist. So, as you as you might not know, the National Statistic, which uh, came up on this page here, actually informs the national UK population is actually due to fall down of white people. So this country is going to be more embraced of a multiculturalism than white people. Now I'm not saying it's bad to have multiculturalism anyway. I don't know why I did that. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I mean, it's okay. It is. It's great to be white. I mean, white people were the hard land of Britain, but it's part of the identity. You know, the British culture is the British values. But when you take in people who don't va precious those values or Scottish values, you know, you're gonna have to start having problems. Because as the survey go back to here says, the prediction of people to decline is a massive decline where the white person will be a minority by the year 2040 and that's only 20 years down the road people 20 years down the road white people the people that were born in this country the ones that run this country I'm not saying they don't need to but you know they're the ones who own like live here they're from here you know this is part of western culture they're going to be the minority in a few years now, I don't want to be offensive, but this is a big fucking problem. Now, remember, John Sweeney, he says, this is unacceptable. But does anyone know, remember something about John Sweeney? He's white. He's a white man. You forget that. He's white. So, you might say this is uh, a thing. If this was in America as well, these, it's okay to be white. And they, th all they did was slang this was Trump's doing and all that. And well, if it's going to happen over here, it's going to be a lot more violent than just what the Americans are going to do, let's tell you that. But I just thought I'd bring this attention to you guys. Perth is now a racist city because it supports white people. Nice to fucking know. Nice to know. Well, at least I know everyone from Perth is racist now. Thank God. If you're white, you're racist. If you're from Perth, you're Scottish, you are also racist. So that's good if you support this logo. I can't believe I'm actually saying those lines. So everyone who watched this video, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you please like, share and subscribe to the channel because the content on this channel is limited to what Google and YouTube would like to show on the internet. and please give a nice thumbs up to the video or if you don't want to do that just subscribe to the channel because notification bells and that will be taken down eventually so on so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video i've made so far and hopefully catch you on the next one on this channel thank you and goodbye hail the empire